In this lesson, we are going to implement register screen. When user click on sign in and the user doesn't have an account in our website, click on create your account. In this lesson, we are going to implement a form like this to register a new user and create a backend API to make a user in the database and then redirect user to the home page to show username in the header menu. Let's get to code, open your VS code and go to a screen folder. And here, instead of creating register screen new file, I am going to duplicate sign in a screen. Throughout this lesson, we are going to copy stuff from sign in a screen because register and sign in process are very similar to each other and we're not gonna duplicate ourselves. So copy and paste sign in a screen and rename that to register screen like this. Press enter and here we are in the register screen. Rename sign in to register so I press Ctrl F and enable match case. Click here to open it for replace box and enter register. As you see, four item found, replace all. This time use capital sign in. There are three item here and use capital register and replace that. So by using this feature of VS code, we rename all sign in to register with respect to match case. Next step, scroll down to the render section of register screen. And before getting email, we are going to get name. I'm going to duplicate this and rename that to name. Name, name, name and name. And here is capital name. And instead of sign in, it should be create account. For password, duplicate password section because we are going to get reenter password and make it re password. But there is no need to change the type. At the end, the button is register and the question right here, it should be already have an account. Question mark and redirect user to sign in page and rename this to sign in. I scroll up in the after render for registering a new user, I need name of user to duplicate email line and rename that to name and by having this line we get the name of user and save it in the database notice that in this lesson you have to watch the sign in lesson because for sign in details video i explain each line of this code and here we're not going to duplicate ourselves we are using the knowledge of sign in and just implement register screen and we're not going to explain each line because in the sign in lesson we explained all of them let's go to api and create register click on api and here as you see we have sign in a screen again i'm going to duplicate sign in and rename that to register register here and register here also i want to get the name of user at this point and for data that i'm sending back to server i pass the name of user to save it and it's time to go to index.js to add register screen to list of routes open index.js and right after sign in create register and set it to register screen press tab to import that 
Great, we have done the front end part and we should be able to see register. Let's check that. Go to home page, click on sign in, click on create your account. Uh -huh. As you see, they are very similar to each other, but we need to implement the back end part of it. Let's go for it. Open your user route in the back end folder routers user routers and here there is a post method for sign in let's duplicate the sign in function and rename that to register function uh, we're not gonna looking for database for a user with this user or password what we need to do at this point is to create a new user. Let's get rid of it. const user equal to new user. And what I'm going to pass to this object, name, email, and password, name equal to rec.body.name. If you remember from the connect to MongoDB, you know that by having rec.body, we can get access to the data that front end sent to the back end. Same as for email and password. Rename that to email and password. It's time to create this user. Const created user equal to await user dot save it's time to check if created user doesn't exist it means there is an error so i need to send back an error and the error is invalid user data it means that user entered wrong data for this information if everything goes well i just copy created user and paste them with this one and I just send the information about this new user to the front end let's go and check that open here and open your inspector keep your network and XHR open and enter user information test test at example.com test test and click on register the new user created successfully and you just redirected to the home page and in the header menu you can see the new user name if you check the register api you can see that in the header section we are passing email name and password and the backend send back the ID of user in the database, the token to authenticate that user and name, email and is admin. So we successfully created register screen and also we implemented the backend API for registration and everything works perfect. Let's check if we enter wrong data. Here, I'm going to click here, cookie, and remove localhost, and then refresh to be a sign out user, and click on create account, open your terminal, and here do not enter data for let's say name, and click on register. You see, user validation failed. Path name is required. So by having this custom alert, if there is a validation error, we send back status 400 and display the error message for user. That's why you are getting 400 bad requests and you just get the error message. The register screen shows validations error to the user. In the next lesson, we are going to implement profile page and make it possible to 
sign out for user. Until that lesson, bye-bye.